What's up, everybody? This is Bruce, aka Geektacular, and today I've got another unboxing for you. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing the four disc Blu ray um, box set for Amityville the Cursed Collection. And this comes from the company um, Vinegar Syndrome that um, makes new releases of usually like cult titles, um, smaller B movies, that sort of thing. They do a lot of horror and stuff like that. Um, and it's usually smaller movies or obscure movies. They do like nice new transfers of them, put them out on Blu-ray that have never been out on Blu-ray before, things like that. Um, they do a lot of cool work and some of their stuff like this one is actually uh, limited edition. So um, they'll often have limited edition slip covers or boxes or things like that. Um, this box set, at least the the box packaging and all that, is in fact limited edition. I don't know if they'll keep selling the Blu-rays. Um, I'm not sure, but the the four disc box set itself is a limited edition release. So um, I wanted to go ahead and pick that up because I have all the Amneville, all like the core Amneville films. Um, on DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, and these are actually the four um, the four movies that are in this collection. These are the original DVDs, um, which I've owned for quite a while now. Um, Amityville 4, Amityville It's About Time, Amityville A New Generation, Amityville Dollhouse. So these are kind of, um, these are four, the... Amityville 4 was uh, a TV movie they put out on DVD. The other three were direct-to-video. Um, these are all about basically cursed objects um, that possess the house. So um, these are released like in the, I think, the 90s. Uh, let me see when 4 is from. 4 is from 89. So these go from 89 to 97. Um there, the only thing that's missing um, from this kind of time period is Amityville Curse, which was a Canadian uh, made-for-TV movie that doesn't really follow the same sort of um, the same sort of plot as these. Um, it's not as centered around the, the same original house and things like that. So, and it's also not it's never been officially released on DVD in North America. Um, I actually have an import DVD of it, but. Um, yeah, it's kind of considered, like, not really part of sort of this core group, even though it was a sequel, an Amityville sequel that was aired on TV, you know, had a production budget, um, and you can get it on DVD if you want to import it. But that's actually not included here because this is the Cursed Collection, so this is the four main um, kind of original sequels to the original Amityville trilogy. So... Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, you can order it specifically off of the Vinegar Syndrome website. Um, and when you order it, it comes basically just wrapped up in, uh, in bubble wrap. So it had a bunch of bubble wrap around it with a rubber band. Um, it's not shrink wrapped or anything. Um, but it, they shipped it really fast in just a couple days. So I was really impressed with that. Um, so just taking a look at the box here, it's actually really nice. Um, as you can see, it is the size, it's about the height of a Blu-ray case. So this is a standard DVD case and it's shorter than that. So it's basically the same height as a, a Blu-ray case. I think there are four discs in here. So it's just slightly wider than, than four Blu-ray cases. Um, let me go ahead and Focus it in here on the box. You can kind of see it. So the artwork is really cool. Um, the background is kind of like a matte printed background. And then a lot of the highlights, so like the um, the two windows, these eyes that are in the window, um, the logo right here, these are all like glossy print. Um, so you can kind of see it when I run the light over it there. Same thing with the eyes. They kind of like glow, which is really cool. And the windows kind of are the same way. And so on the side here, which I really like, and again, all the text um, and the logo down here are all in kind of a glossy print. You can kind of see it there. So it does actually show you um, the names of all four of the movies right there. And then it, it kind of has like the side of the house right here as the artwork. 
And then this is uh, basically sort of the, I guess, the back side of the house. There's a hatchet there with the uh, with the blade that's also in a kind of a glossy print. So overall, very cool. And it's like it's a sturdy box. It's not like a thin paperboard box. It's like it's like hard. So let's go ahead and open it here. Ooh, very cool. So it actually goes the box goes all the way up to the top of these Blu-ray cases, which is awesome. And this is all glossy. Um, it's kind of like the inner inner layer of the box, but it goes like all the way up. So that is very cool. And as you can see inside, we have the four uh, Blu-ray cases here. Four clear Blu-ray cases. Um, inside is just white here. So let's go ahead and take this out. White inside the box there. Did I put that on right? Oh no, I put that on backwards. <laughs> they look almost similar, but yeah, this one has a chimney on the front. So let me go ahead and put that off to the side here. Let's just take a quick look at each of these. Um, so, Amityville, The Evil Escapes. So you can see here, I'll just show you the back and then I'll open. Each one is shrink wrapped individually. So I'll show you the case and stuff and then I'll Take the shrink wrap off. You can see all the special features here. Newly scanned and restored in 4K from its 35 millimeter original camera negative. It's got a video inter two vi video interviews, reversible artwork, all that good stuff. So yeah, they don't just like port over the existing uh, DVDs or whatever. They actually do new, brand new, like high quality transfers. Um, just a note, it says that it's from a 4K scan, but it's actually just a standard HD uh, Blu-ray. So it's not a 4K Blu-ray, so don't get confused by that, but basically they scan the, uh, the original film in 4K, and then they like downsample that to uh, 1080p. So, but it still ends up with an awesome looking picture usually. So yeah, given that these four movies have only been available on DVD up until now, um, from what I've read, these look really, really good in, in HD. So here is the disc. It's basically a uh, matte printed artwork there. And so here is the alternate art. So this is the... the uh, standard art, and this is the alternate art. And I think the, it seems like the alternate art is kind of designed to be sort of similar to, um, like to the original posters or the original artwork. And then these are kind of more like uh, remade artwork to be a little bit more sort of matchy matchy for the box set. So you can take your pick. I kind of like both. I don't know which one I'll, I'll stay with. As you can see, it's got a full spine and all that stuff too, so. You can easily uh, swap it around. So there's Amityville Horror, The Evil Escapes. It's the fourth one. Then Amityville 1992, It's About Time. Uh, let's go ahead and just take the plastic wrap off here. We'll take a look inside of this one. And yeah, these are um, these are just basically uh, standard width uh, Blu-ray cases, so nothing too crazy uh, in terms of the case. They are clear, so that's cool. But otherwise, um, they're essentially just uh, standard. I think non-eco Blu-ray cases, but I'll double ooh, I'll double check here in a second. So let's go ahead and open this up. Take a look at the cover. This one has a red spine here. The first one had kind of yellow, a yellow theme. This one has kind of a red theme. You can see the special features there. Artwork that matches the front. And then here is the kind of alternate artwork here. 
just for curiosity's sake, um, it's about time. This is the DVD artwork here. So, um, a bit different there. Um, but yeah, I think this is probably actually like the original poster. Um, so that's kind of what they're going for there, I think. But very reversible if you want kind of a retro cover instead of a more modern one. So there's that one. And then let's see, we have a new generation right here. Let's go ahead and open this one. So here's a new generation. So this one has kind of a blue theme. The uh, broken mirror right there. And there's all the special features. Again, all these have um, newly scanned and restored 4K, or from a 4K transfer. So now has a commentary, a couple of video interviews, um, subtitles, that kind of stuff. So there's the disc, and here's the inside. Oh, that artwork is really cool. And I like that they have, some of them have the, uh, like the tagline text on them also. So that's the reversible artwork. So that's awesome. Last but not least, Amneville Dollhouse. So this one kind of has like a like a neon green uh, sort of color scheme to it. It might be hard to tell in the video. Um, it might kind of look uh, yellowish, but uh, in real life, it's actually kind of like a like a neon green, basically, like a bright lime green. There's that artwork. There's the spine. There's the back. Very cool. Take a look inside here. The um, the DVD of this is actually somewhat rare. I don't know if it's going to be less rare now that uh, Vinegar Syndrome has put it out. I know for a while um, the DVD of this, and actually the other ones as well, most of the ones except Evil Escapes, that one was pretty common. But the other three, um, 1992, New Generation, and Dollhouse, the DVDs of those actually were quite rare. Um, maybe until these came out. I don't know if they still have their same value or not. But yeah, this one actually most... This is the one that most matches up to the DVD artwork. It's literally the DVD artwork. <laughs> um, just slightly um, re rearranged. Um, the other ones don't really look like the the existing DVD artwork. They are retro and they do look cool, but they have a slightly different art. This one literally matches the DVD cover. Um, but yeah, the back and everything is the same as, as the new release. I'll probably just leave them with their standard covers right now. And then maybe I'll go back and switch them up a little later. Um, but yeah, that's the whole set right there. Um, just to kind of show you all sort of lined up side by side. Those are the spines right there. Yellow, red, blue, green. And they all have kind of a uniform back, as you can see, too. So they have they each have three screenshots in, at the bottom. They'll have like two paragraphs of text, the logo on the top left, and then the UPC and all this stuff on the right. So... They're all very uniform, which I very much appreciate. I like that. <laughs> um, and as I said, you can reverse all the covers if you want to. 
um, and then go in this awesome hard, even this part, like the inside part, that's also hard as well. So the whole thing is a really cool package. It will fit on your Blu-ray and DVD shelf, which I really like. I hate when companies put out box sets that won't fit on my, uh, on my standard DVD shelf. It almost makes me, I, at this point, I basically don't buy a box set if it won't fit on a standard DVD shelf. <laughs> I have so many DVDs and Blu-rays that I really have to conserve space when it comes to that kind of thing. And any giant box set that like won't fit on a standard bookshelf, not even a bookshelf, but like a, like a short, like a shelf the size of a DVD, like a media shelf, if it's any bigger than that, like if it won't fit on that shelf, then I just don't buy it <laughs> because I have no place to store enormous crazy box sets. 